Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around the new Shore Track Pro Series Implement Trailer. This is the first one we've got in. This one's equipped uh, with 7,000 pound axles and it's got the full width ramp upgrade. So again, 22 foot. The breakdown on that's going to be roughly 19 flat deck, 3 foot dovetail with the full width. I believe Short Track's gonna call them universal ramps. I refer to them as full width just because they cover the whole back end of the trailer. So this is their new model. Uh, unlike previous versions, this will count tongue weights. Even though they're tandem 7K axles, we're gonna call this a 15.4, 15,400 GVW. Same trailer with 8,000 pound axles. They're rating for 17,600 pounds. And then the same model's also available with tandem 10,000 pound axles, which would be a 22,000 pound rating. Uh, we're gonna be stocking all three, but again, shown here would be the 22 foot with the 7,000 pounders and the full width ramps. Let's start out at the front, we'll take a walk around this. So one of the things they do a little bit different than their normal, I'll say standard implement trailer, what was the, the last you know trailer we've had the last 15 years or better, um, it had a ball coupler up front and it was a two bolt. This has the heavier four bolt and it's also got a pinnel. And the reason I believe they put a pinnel on this standard, you've got about a six foot tongue. Traditionally on equipment trailers, you're gonna be somewhere in the four neighborhood. Uh, this is quite a bit longer and there's a few reasons for that. Uh, one, unlike a traditional stack tongue setup where you're gonna have a tongue that comes back and wraps to the hanger, spring hanger, typically six inch channel, and then typically a six inch channel mainframe, this has a mono frame, so you've got I-beam all the way from the front, all the way to the back. Now, to do that, to keep a continuous frame instead of having a tongue, typically your tongue's going to come in at a 45 or 50 degree angle, and it's going to cut across like so, which wouldn't allow you to have this big old toolbox or the I-beam uh, continuous frame. So, to do so, I-beam's got to come all the way to the outside, gives you... A, that longer tongue, and then B, it gives you the big old toolbox in the A-frame. So, let's take a look. Four-bolt, pinnel, standard. We do keep the two and five sixteenth inch balls. I believe we're going to do uh, some balls on these standard, uh, or how we bring them in. If not, we've got them on the shelf here. Uh, the reason I think these might be somewhat more common on pinnels than most would be that extended tongue. We're going to get more guys probably with dump trucks and whatnot pulling these. Uh, 12K jack is standard. This also has the two-speed gearbox upgrade. If you're not familiar, like a semi, it just changes the gear ratio. If you're under load, makes it easier to, to crank. Uh, standard seven pin RV whip. It's a sealed wiring harness. One nice thing about them now, these plugs are coming in color coded on the ends, which is nice. It's a fully sealed harness they give you a plug holder for it which is nice jack is bolt on if you ever damage it super easy to replace also if you're not familiar it's a spring assisted jack pull that pin handle it'll spring load up in monster toolbox there's a few manufacturers doing this in the industry but still not many this is a fairly unique setup i can think of maybe four in the industry doing something similar to this or maybe more i'm not familiar uh but big old box uh, different than most, they do give you a light, which is nice if you're working after hours. Unfortunately, some of us work more than those eight-hour days. If you catch yourself working at nighttime, you got that light in there. Also, uh, to power the light, you've got a, I believe they call these a U1 battery, basically a garden tractor battery. Um, so you got, I don't know, certainly an LED light, a couple hours run time or better. And that's in its own compartment, which is nice. Uh, gas shocks on the toolbox. Got a reinforcement going across. Uh, there is an optional loading light. If you choose, it's not standard. It would mount underneath the front headache rack there. Just come out from, from the toolbox for power. Uh, tie downs on this. You've got basically your hooks up front. They've reinforced that extra heavy so you can hook. There, you've got your stake pockets going down the sides, and then you've also got your oversized D-rings. I believe uh, they're four inch by three quarters on those. Said earlier about the 
I-beam continuous front to back. It's very heavy built. It's also going to be plated out here um, with a, you got your LED light, powder coated tough, but uh, well reinforced uh, up front. You've got zerts on the back side of the toolbox for serviceability. Uh, this does weigh, I skipped over the weight sticker, but I'll save you the sticker. It says that this weighs 3,900 pounds. So typically if we take a traditional equipment trailer this size, I'll just take Short Track's uh, uh, URET model, which is their old universal ramp equipment trailer. Uh, this would come in with the toolbox and full width ramps, maybe in the 33 range. So we're adding couple hundred pounds of weight to this so it is a heavy duty one i suspect uh 7k axles will probably be somewhat common on this model just because 7,000 pound axle equipment trailers are super common but i suspect a lot of guys will also be upgrading to 8,000 pound axles on this that is kind of the ideal setup for the way this is built it's pretty pretty heavy built heavy duty fenders are standard you've got uh weld-ons with reinforcements front and rear you've got your led uh, in there, you've got your center support. One thing a little different Short Track does, you've got a greasable slipper spring or a wet bolt kit, some will call it. As far as tires, these have a load range E 10 ply radial tire. It's got an eight lug uh, hub assembly. You've got your silver uh, wagon wheels on these. If you're not familiar, this has the Easy Lube hubs. So behind this cap, sometimes you can get them in the summertime, they're pliable. Uh, basically, there's a grease zert there. You can do your own bearing maintenance. Fairly simple to do so. Uh, these also have the newer style forward self-adjusting brakes. So similar to an automobile, they will self-tension uh, as you use the trailer. Uh, there is still a little bit of a, uh, even though they're self-adjusting like all trailers, a little bit of a break-in burnishing period uh, for them. Moving to the back, still I-beam, and then your beaver tail, you've got, I believe, a banjo eyes, what they're going to call uh, your hook at the rear here, and you've got another one forward. Uh, this tie-down lat, or tie-down assembly is, uh, to secure the ramp, definitely a lot more impressive than most we've seen. Definitely like how they've done that. Um, pretty, pretty slick setup. Self-cleaning dovetail. And your ramp got some ventilation to get through the ramp give you a little bit better aerodynamics you've got a grab handle on the ramp in the down position you've got your safety pin with your latch assembly uh, definitely can't can't uh, say enough how nice that is compared to most we've seen if you look at the hinging on the back side it's double hinged sprung short track generally makes their ramp kickers on these the spring uh, come underneath and that just keeps you from squatting down underneath you've got uh, c channel cross members 16 inch on center they are structural channel not formed spare tire mount on the front driver's side or front passenger side, I'm sorry. Uh, these are heavier stake pockets than your traditional trailers. Uh, they're not only thicker, but also you got more depth to them. There are some different options on this available. You can get a rub rail. Um, we've chosen not to just because of the price currently of it. It's a little, little high. And you've got a fair amount of tie downs already on this. Again, at the back, you've got your banjos up front. Then your stake pockets and D-rings. So I think there's sufficient enough amount of tie-down points. Uh, you've also got the I-beam itself uh, for securement if needed. This is available in different lengths. I believe they start these at 18 foot, uh, 20, 22, and I imagine you can go longer if needed. There's a gooseneck available. Uh, the stand-up ramps, stand-up deluxe ramps are standard. Again, the full width ramps that you see at the rear are an option on this. If you have any questions on this model or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a shout 717-220-4220 or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.